Okay, do you want to be a million dollar deal maker? Yes. <laughs> if you answer heck yeah, then this is for you. Josh Flagg has sold more than two and a half billion dollars in real estate, including California mansions like this one he listed and sold for Suzanne Summers on the hit Bravo show, Million Dollar Listing, Los Angeles. I love it. So now Josh has written down everything he knows about real estate in his new book. It's called The Deal, Secrets for Mastering the Art of Negotiation. Hello. Yeah. Hi, how are you? How are you guys? Okay, so this book is great when you for real estate, but it's bigger than that. It's about negotiation mm -hmm. in general. All, right? What do you think people are going to learn from reading it? Well, I mean, I just, you know, I over the years picked up like a thousand real estate books and they're so boring and they just mm. say, this is how you do this and this is how you do it. I'm like, oh God, let's get something, something more entertaining. So I took all of the sales that I've done over 18 years of selling houses and I picked the top stories and there's like a hundred great stories with really funny examples. I mean, so, some of my friends have read the book and they said it's one of the funniest books ever. We really, <laughs> cool. really wanted to make this fun and entertaining and yeah. an easy read. That's awesome. Okay, so you say one tip is put yourself in a billionaire's pair of shoes. Yeah, think Fancy. about it. Like, <laughs> Pretend you're going to Neiman Marcus, you want to buy you know, a pair of socks or whatever, and the salesperson follows you around and follows you around, and, and you're like, oh, please, leave it's me annoying. alone. I just yeah. want like my time and my space, whatever. If you look desperate, mm -hmm. somebody's going to see right through it. So let's just say you're a billionaire and you want to buy a property. If you look like a desperate salesperson and you look like you need the sale and you want to make it and, and you need to do this, they're going to be like, okay, this guy is not giving, he's not being honest with me. He just wants to make a sale off. Mm -hmm. You have to just act like... You're one of them. Mm -hmm. Everyone's the same. True. So you also say, I think this grabbed my attention, that it's important to say no. Yeah. You call this gatekeeping. Yeah. I say no to my clients all the time. And the reason In why is... Way. Well, very simple. I say no. I say, if they say, I want to make an offer on this, the house is $10 million and we want to offer eight, and I'll say to you, no, this is ridiculous. I'm not making an offer. It's going to embarrass you and it's going to embarrass me. Then they know that I'm not hungry. Like, I'll do anything that I... You know, if I go on a listing appointment and they say, how much is my house worth? And I just tell them what they want to hear, like... I'm just one of the other brokers that come in the room that they're interviewing. I have to make sure that they know I'm being honest and I don't have much to lose. That's good. Okay, that's super smart. All right, we have a couple of questions, real estate questions from some of our viewers. So the first one, her name is Angela and she lives in Jersey City. Okay. My question is, with interest rates continuing to rise, should we rent or buy right now? And are prices negotiable? Okay. Great yeah, that's a, you know, Great we all question. are talking about interest rates. Mm. I just screamed it at Savannah, actually. Great <laughs> question. I wrote a uh, big article on this on joshflag.com. It's a really, really good article. So real estate goes in cycles. It's cyclical. Up, up for six years, down for six years. Up six years, down six years, generally. Over time, real estate always goes like this. Yeah, like I said, it goes like this, but whatever. So if you're going to plan on staying in your house for more than 10 years, would you rather pay a lower interest rate right now and maybe pay a little bit more money for the house, considering that next year prices might be lower. But you still know that in five, ten years from now, it's going to be higher regardless. What's the difference? Wouldn't you rather have a lower payment every month than pay a little bit uh, yeah. higher of an interest rate uh, in maybe a year from now? But your price of your property is a little bit lower. What's the difference? It's going to be worth more when you sell it anyway. Mm, this okay. is why you're good. Yeah. Honestly. Okay, so we have one. This is from Mary Beth Hunt from Spirit Lake, Iowa. Let's hear what she has to say. Hi, Josh. We want to sell our home, but how important is it to make improvements before selling? And how much is too much to spend so we don't price ourselves out of the market? Excellent. Yeah, that's a really good question. Okay, so I'm of the theory, and, and this is my personal opinion, that you either do everything or you do nothing at all. If you have a house and let's say it needs a lot of work, if it's affordable for you to do it, got the whole thing, do whatever, then sell it. Or rather than just let's do one bathroom or like let's update a little bit of the kitchen. It's hodgepodge. It doesn't look right. It doesn't flow. Mm -hmm. So do everything or do nothing. Now, with that said, put away all the trinkets. Put away all yeah. the little. No one wants to see you the picture of your golden it. retriever. Okay? Yeah. Put all the family photos away and all that. And clean it. And yes, and stage it. That's a and great idea. And clean it and get it, it kind of. But don't remodel a bathroom here or a bathroom that's, there. Yeah. Unless really you hate advice. money and you want to throw it Because people will do that. They'll say, well, at least it has a new bathroom and then the kitchen's a mess. Yeah, exactly. so it doesn't really matter. And plus, a lot of people want to do their own work to the house they buy anyway. All right. Thank you so thank much, you Josh. Josh. And you can pre-order Josh's book at today.com slash books.